I have some very interesting intelligent insight that I'm about to bring to this conversation. Julio Jones is good at football. New Orleans is going to be running a cover 2 zone, and they're actually going to drop a defensive tackle back into coverage. This now means they have an extra man in coverage, which should help tighten up some of those gaps that would otherwise be open on a typical cover 2 zone. This is the route that Julio Jones is going to be running, and as you notice, he's going to seemingly seamlessly get past every single Saint. There's no contact whatsoever. That's huge because in zone coverage, you typically want to be able to create contact as that would have slowed a receiver down and not allow him to as quickly get to those gaps in coverage. While it looks like Julio is wide open here, he actually really isn't. There's two Saints right in front of him, so Ryan can't underthrow the ball, and there's also is a Saint ahead of him. Meaning there's not exactly a huge window for Ryan to hit Julio Jones. However, because Jones is so tall and can jump so high, this now makes things a lot easier for Ryan as he has a slightly bigger window to throw to. It's a pretty good throw, and despite Jones getting hit right as he touches the ball, he's still able to catch it on the sidelines and pick up a first down. He's great at beating zone, and this next play is another perfect example of that. Once again, it's going to be another cover 2 zone, but also, just like the last play, it's not going to be your standard cover 2 zone. What New Orleans is doing different on this play is they're going to have a shadow on the plus receiver on the bottom half of the screen. This is the route that Jones will be running, and as you see, it could be a perfect way to beat cover 2. However, the Saints are going to play pretty good coverage on this one. Despite a play action, the Saints linebackers do a pretty good job of staying back and not allowing Jones to get wide open behind him. However, look at Jones on this play. He does a very good job of slowing down his route and allowing himself to stay open for as long as possible. Eventually, Ryan is able to hit him and they're able to pick up a first down. Seemingly, the only way to beat Julio Jones would be in a play like this. On this play, it's going to be a cover one linebacker blitz, and you're going to see Carlton Davis have a one-on-one -on -one matchup against Julio Jones. This is the route that Jones is going to be running, and it's the perfect way to beat this kind of coverage, as he's breaking into the middle of the screen, and it's going to be right before that safety, so therefore he could end up getting open, as against man coverage, typically you want to have a cut, as that helps you beat man coverage. As you see, what Davis does here is he's going to essentially give Jones space. He's waiting for Jones to make a move. The second Jones does make a move, he's simply just going to break off in that direction. It's almost similar to how like in soccer, on on a penalty shootout you kind of just pick which one direction you go it's a little similar to that except it's once you see jones make a move then you go in that direction it's going to allow you to get beat but it also can allow you to make plays and that's what happens here davis knocks it away and it falls incomplete in their week 17 matchup it seemed like tampa bay was doing that constantly to not allow julio jones to get many catches as you see on this play it's actually zone coverage but it has the same effect it's going to be a cover two zone and you're going to take a look at carlton davis who's now playing safety as he's going to be in charge of guarding julio jones you can probably guess where this is going at this point. It appears as though Julio Jones is going to try to make a catch in the corner of the end zone for a touchdown. And so because of that, Davis is going to then break up in that direction. However, once he does that, Julio Jones can simply just break back inside. He's wide open and he's able to make an easy catch for a touchdown. There's really just nothing you can do against Jones. If you play zone coverage, him and Matt Ryan can exploit the zone. If you play man coverage, he can eat you alive. And if you do something like this where you sell out every time he makes a cut or looks like he's going in a certain direction, then that could be very bad news as well. He's just one of those receivers where he has no downside. He can beat you in any way. And it's one of those reasons why he's not just one of the best wide receivers in the league, he's one of the best players in the league.